Protests for George Floyd seen in all 50 states show some images of anger, violence, and even death. Experts say it can weigh heavily on your mental health, especially in the wake of a national pandemic. Two News reporter Kiana Deitches shares ways to keep the conversation going while dealing with your emotional health into your health. In recent months, many have already been feeling uncertain and anxious. First due to the coronavirus pandemic and now because of unrest over the death of George Floyd. Um, there's just been challenge after challenge after challenge and that builds up over time almost like a pressure cooker and that valve is starting to rock. When something tragic happens, it's normal to feel a variety of emotions. Right now, most people are on edge to some extent and need to understand that that's a normal feeling to have because there's been so much coming at us. Specialists say knowing when to take a break from social media is key. Just getting out, taking a walk, reading a book, connecting with friends. If you can't do it physically right now, do it virtually. She says not addressing those feelings can cause them to boil over. Families have to have conversations with their children at very young ages about how to behave, how to hold their hands, how not to touch something in the store. All of those things, things that are normal for the majority population, but put young black men especially at a disadvantage in terms of just being able to be themselves. Jones Kelly says after addressing mental health, the next step towards healing should be working on a solution to injustice. Kiana Deitches, 5 on 2.